So essentially, um, the project's aim was to open up the museum to new audiences um, with a sporting heritage theme. Uh, so we um, identified a number of sporting clubs across the Fermanagh Oma district uh, and approached uh, a number of clubs uh, with the idea that we would encourage them to bring their stories, their, their heritage to life um, and bring those, bring those stories into the museum. Melbourne Anglers Club were involved, Enniskillen Tennis Club were involved, Enniskillen Sailing Club, uh, Fermanagh GAA um, and Enniskillen Rugby Club. We started by identifying a list of clubs across the, the district that we felt had an interesting story and, and would be interested in perhaps sharing their heritage with, with the museum. One of the, um, I suppose, stars of this project has been, um, been a, us being able to bring the Lipton Cup back into Fermanagh again um, after a, over a hundred years of it, of, it, of it not being in the county. The Lipton Cup was a competition that was uh, supported and funded by the Lipton family from the, the famous Lipton Tea um, Company. Back in 1913, they hosted a competition where soccer teams from Fermanagh, Monaghan and Cavan played for the Lipton Cup. The Enniskill and Corinthians won the Cup that year. It was the only year that the Cup was played for. However, the Cup never made it to Fermanagh. Um, and so it sits today in the County Museum in Cavan. And that is until very recently, as a result of this project, we've been able to bring it back into Fermanagh uh, for a very limited period of time. We have engaged with people who have never been to the museum before. There are people that have lots of stories to tell. They're not quite sure where that story should be recorded or where that story should be told. And I suppose through projects like this, um, we've enabled that to happen. Um, and we've enabled people to share a story that they may not have seen a value in, but now that we have that story, you know, we can preserve it for, you know, for future generations. So the project that we've been involved in has been about reaching out to different sports clubs uh, around the Fermanagh area. We've had Enniskill and Lawn Tennis Club, that is a really old club based here in, in the town. Um, we have their earliest minute books from the late 1800s, but they have all of the minute books from that point of ours up until the present day. So we got involved with them in order to try and get some of those into our collections. And some of those minutes cover the period from 1912 to 1923, 1924, right up until the 1930s. And in that, we're hoping to be able to really trace World War I stories from it, Spanish flu, Irish War of Independence, Civil War, and later partition coming through in those minutes and what was taking place. In this museum, heritage means the telling of a community the telling of a landscape in which we, we live. So heritage is everything, the tangible and the intangible. It's the recorded memory, it's the remembered memory, it's, it's the kind of heart of a community, I think. we heard about it was when the, the museum in, in Skillin, Fermanagh contacted us and they um, sent out an email explaining what they wanted of us. We then, as a um, committee um, in Enniskillen Tennis Club, decided that we would definitely like to contribute to it and we then discovered um, that Mervyn Winslow um, had already donated um, a minute book from the 1890s and then we discovered that we did have books going back to the 1890s. I think it's very good for people to, to become involved in the Heritage Committee um, because it, you're contributing to history. You know, in 50 years' time, you know, what we're doing now is, is going to be part of history. Yeah, well, I heard about people, place, events uh, from um, the Heritage Centre here when they approached the club uh, to get some old photographs uh, so they could show, put on, put on site uh, for people to see. I represent the Garrison Loch Melvin Anglers. Uh, we're based in Garrison around Loch Melvin, so it's fishing. fishing is the main thing there. We got together in Garrison and decided to contact 
uh, some some old local people there uh, who can come up with they come up with some of these photographs. It's great to see these old photographs, get some old things resurrected, get people um, their minds uh, involved in searching searching for old photographs and, and getting involved. It was brilliant.